Now with regard to youth law, this show, although once it goes on air, it is open to viewing for all, but it is primarily targeted for the youth of Bhutan, who one feels is caught in a storm of confusion with an ancient culture and tradition in one hand and unchecked onslaught of the World Wide Web and television on the other. What message or advice can Rimuche offer to the youth who are indulging uh, specifically uh, in substance abuse or overall to lessen their confusion? Any advice from Rimuche? Since I've been staying in Bhutan quite a number of years, I've, I've known that this youth issue has been going on for a while. And uh, I don't want to generalize it and you know, kind of be a know-all. You know, because when somebody, is, when somebody else is going through a tooth pain, no matter how much we sympathize, we really cannot understand what is going through until you are you know, having the tooth pain. So I don't want to act a know-all. But maybe, you know, myself also being relatively young, a little bit of knowledge, Dharma, maybe it will help, you know, if I can share my view. I feel that uh, one of the reasons nowadays in the modern society there's a bit of discontent yes. is because people don't, uh, we don't realize, everybody doesn't realize how beautiful they are, how beautiful their culture are, how beautiful their dresses are, in their own way. For example, just a few days back, I was in the, the Jingwen Namge Polytechnic, you know, the school. I was joking with them that if you really think about it, there's no very good logical reason saying that Jean is more fashionable than Go and Kira. Yes. Except that, of course, America became much developed before. They have a strong media influence. If Bhutan was the one that was developed so far, probably most of the world will be wearing Go and Kira now. Yes. <laughs> But then, we know, since we do not, we do not have the kind of that sort of, if we cannot appreciate, for example, Bhutanese house designed, Bhutanese dress, how Bhutanese looks, we cannot appreciate how beautiful, you know, Bhutanese already is, Bhutan already is. That the, everybody who comes to Bhutan, they always say how beautiful it is. If we cannot see that ourselves, and top of that, influenced by the, what the television says, right? Television does not say you should look like Bhutanese, probably say you should look like, I don't know, Amir Khan or some Korean superstar, or I don't know, Holly Bollywood. So of course, then Goiki is no longer enough. You know, Bhutanese house is no longer good enough. So when it is not enough, then the discontent comes. So when the discontent comes, then you feel, oh, I'm very poor, I don't have enough. Then, you know, I think you want to, I don't know, you want, we want so many things. Maybe that is also the why, I guess, the world economy is doing well, because people here want there, and they want here, then they're the Commerce, I guess, but that's also how the consumption, materialism, and also discontent. Yes. So it's not enough that you know you have a phone, you must have a latest, and latest is not enough. Also, you must have the very latest. Yes. So there's no end to. So then, when you don't have that, somebody has it, you feel sense of discontent. You feel you are not good enough. So I think I think the media influences a lot, and if you really think about it, this advertising all there's no really a. Good logic, like I think. What is there any good logic saying the jeans is like you know very fashionable? Is there no real logic? Yes. They reinforce the discontent. Yes, you know. Yes. I mean, if if Brad Pitt wears go, you know, I'm sure you know everybody will be wearing go. <laughs> that is the only logic that Brad Pitt wears go, and I don't know Angelina Jolie wears Kira. So now we should, you know, I think there's not much logic. So that is, I think, the one of the reasons. Then I think. Of course, I'm sure there are many other reasons, but uh, another thing is that uh, I do not know much if we say in, in the normal terms or not, but in our Vajrayana tradition, we have a saying that when somebody says, we usually say, no, no, but in our Vajrayana, we say, when people say, you have to say. This. So I was thinking that actually it's, it makes a psychological sense because. For example, in terms of richness, when you say you are rich and you feel it, you are. You, know? you look around at people who have known nothing at all. You look at, you feel, oh, I am rich. You look at somebody who has much, much more than you. You feel you are poor. And they, when they look at us, they feel rich. They look at themselves. So it is very much a uh, what do you call it? Conditioning. conditioning, conceptual thing. So I think if you realize it, I think you'll be a little bit more content. So I think then it will it's kind of help a little bit with the dissatisfaction. And uh, in terms of substance abuse, I think sometimes we are going into substance abuse because 
influenced by friends. And sometimes we feel that it will help the, you know, to solve the problems. But I think you know, at the end of the day, when you, when you use something which is addictive, uh, makes you feel good for a short time, and then when you wake up in the morning, problems are there. On top of that, you have got migraine or you know something hangover. hangover. Yeah. You know? So I, but that's but then at the same time, I wouldn't say that addicts should be like looked down in the society. At the same time, because from the chair point of view, we are all addict. The definition of addict is. You know, no, no control over it, doesn't solve any problem, makes it worse, but make you feel good. So that can be said for the anger also. When you're angry, it makes you feel good, doesn't solve any problem, makes things worse, and jealousy. So in that way, from Buddhist point of view, we are all addict. <laughs> so there's no need to look down upon them, I feel. Also, I think we say that uh, whenever we are being compa compassionate to others, be compassionate to yourself. Otherwise, we become a little bit proud, you know. I am not addict, they are addict. Yeah. But from Buddhist point of view, as I was saying, you know, we are all addict. Nice. Just that, you know, they are substance, we are negative emotion addict. Nice. <laughs>